In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add an image as a background in Canva. So right now we've just got a solid color, but we're going to download an image and then I'm going to add that as the background. And then I'll show you a couple of little effects that you can do. So to get your image, you want to use a website like Pexels. Now Pexels.com allows you to download royalty free images. So I'm going to just type in like a brick wall. Maybe you want your brick wall here as the background. So I'm going to download this brick wall. And we can use this brick wall royalty free because it's from Pexels and everything on here is royalty free. There are 131,000 photos of a brick wall. So go ahead and download your photo. Then you need to get it inside of Canva. So go to uploads, then upload files, and then go to downloads and find obviously where your brick wall or your any photo is downloaded. Click on it and then open and it will open said photo in Canva. Now just wait for it to upload. And what you can do then is drag it on. Now, once you drag it on, you are going to need to resize it. So click on it and then go to any of the dots in the corners and just drag this to meet the sizing of your dot of your project. Now, if your image is over all of the design and it's covering the design and you want it as the background, what you need to do is right click on it. You then need to go to replace background or you can go layer and send to back. If you click send to back, it's going to send that image that you've just added all the way to the back of the document and it will now act as a background. Now, a couple of things that you can do here, if you go to the transparency tool here in the top right, you can bring that down and it's going to obviously blend in with your color background. So maybe you want that effect. If you go to edit, you can then edit your background or your photo. You can add different filters, you can add effects. So maybe you want it blurred. You can blur the whole image here and maybe you want to blur out the background. I don't know, maybe you want, you know, different effects. Obviously, they have different use cases for these, but just that's how you do it. Go ahead and play around with it. I hope that helped you out.